care about some stupid Eden. But we need to find Hammond. And if he's going north, we're going north. If he's going north, that makes him a grade-A certified loony. No one goes up there, Borman. And what's with those two stalkers he took with him? They should know better. They're following orders, just like us. The Ark can't run without Hammond, so we're bringing him back. Especially with ghoul packs coming this far south. Wonder what they're planning. And the ghouls are too dumb to plan. Someone's pushing them down here. I'm feeling in my feathers. This is Hammond's far looker. Let's bring it back to prep before the ghouls take it. That name is all wrong. It should be a smaller fire, because when I looked into it, everything became smaller, more distant. Amazing what the ancients could make. <laughs> Small, far away. Ooh. Wait here. What if I can just fast travel back? Jeez, how the heck am I even going to reach there? Can I even travel there? I don't think I can. that you took on this mission to find Hammond. As you go deeper into the zone, questions will arise in your heads. You'll ask yourselves how this world became a wasteland. I'll tell you. I thought everyone a long knew. time ago, a strange disease sprang up in a city not too far from here. A vicious disease. The eyes of the victims would go red. They would bleed from their ears. Hence its infamous nom de plume. The Red Plague. Within 40 years, the plague destroyed most of the human race. A quick rake of death, scraping across the face of the planet. It was nature's revenge. Revenge against the greed. The arrogance, the egos of humans who thought they were gods. We call these fools the Ancients. We don't worship the Ancients like the madman in the zone do. Because our salvation doesn't depend on false gods who live in the heavens. It doesn't depend on the mirage of paradise beyond the zone. Our salvation depends on us. Us means humans and mutants together. And as two of our resident mutants, I bet you wonder who you are. <laughs> Where you come from, I wonder too. We all do. When I found you in the zone, you were shivering, naked, memories completely wiped. We took you in, taught you, and now, you serve us as our hunters, our trackers, our warriors. We are indebted to you, stalkers. Never turn on each other. Hear me? Farewell. Remember your elder's guidance. You're a loon. I can already tell he's going to be a bit dicey in the story towards the end. Or uh, I can on. tell by the notches on your gear you met the wrong end of a rock ghoul. They like to get up close, huh? They travel in packs, too, but they're dumb. When the bullets start to fly, they don't take cover. They just stand there like goofballs. How long have you been working on that?
Later, stalkers. Pull up a stool, stalkers. Yeah, I'll take this. That feels like it'll be a big help early game. Here's the swimming with bow-legged women. What? My little birdies tell me a flying machine crashed down east of here. I hear the ghouls haven't stripped it yet. Bet you could pick a lot of scrap off it. You're a weirdo too. You're all weirdos. Bye. You know, I wish there was a place to actually heal outside of having to use health kits. I mean, it, it seems weird there's not a like, medical place. I'm just going to have to explore. from more from this. I mean something that impressive I expected a bit more than just eight parts. Boldly go where some people have gone before. Ooh, more splits. I'm definitely gonna have to explore and level up before I reach that space. That red skull is a pretty big turn off. Put off, that's the phrase, put off. Never been this deep into the zone before. Bet you a pitcher of grog there's ghouls out here. They're everywhere. Oop, no, no. But I can't go in the water. Odd. Split 
Stay right there. Who are you? You're Selma, right? You're a mutant like us, on Hammond's team. Do I owe you money? No. Did I kill your brother? No. Then Selma I am. Who are you? I'm Ducks, and he's Borman. Hello? Like the only walking duck and boar in the whole arc? Come on. That's funny. I think you've mistaken me for someone who gives a duck. Hmm. I've got to catch up to Hammond before it's too late. You're part of Hammond's crew. How did you get separated? It was weird. We were all hearing strange voices, not from the zone, in our heads. And that's when the ghouls ambushed us. After the fight, I was somehow blinded, paralyzed. I could barely move. I told Hammond I'd catch up to him when it wore off. Two long, rough days. But I'm better now. He headed up north to a crash site to find some metal ship. Says it was sent from... Eden, I know. Do you believe him? If Hammond thinks there's an Eden, there's an Eden. Believe me. You guys are trying to find him too? And we can work together. This is insane. You want to go more north? Into Ghoul Central? They'll kill us. A lot of ghouls have tried to kill me, but I'm still here. So, am I part of your team or what? Hooray, another member. But I didn't really convince her, she just kind of convinced us. Stealth, but I also don't want to. Okay, I am in the wrong area. I'm getting out of here. It's kind of an awkward position now because I mean, on the one hand, it's good to have more people, but on the other hand, I'm gonna lose stuff quicker. Stalker or what? You see this hidden path through the forest? Ooh, more walking parts, lovely. We have to upgrade one of my guns soon. Wow. I'm gonna have one hell of a flea market with this junk. These weird machines. Where do you think they come from? I got this. Cover me.
fun. Too shabby. Ah! Elder Almighty, I've seen some crazy shit in the zone, but this takes the bullet. I'm small people. Do I get anything from investigating that? Over I'm here. I'm going alone. I'm not giving him that hat though, because it just doesn't. Actually, you know what? No, I think maybe give him. Because I'm going to put him up high more often than not. And. Actually, no. Shotgun or pistol? What would I prefer to give? You know what? Yeah, I think better range for shotgun sounds better. Because that shotgun's a powerhouse, but its range is really limited. And I didn't make that decision just on how funny they all look with hats. It, it had a part of the decision-making process, but it wasn't just that. See what's down here. 